First of all, I just wanted to say, um, I wanted to shoot these videos showing my journey after becoming pregnant and after having my, my baby, these workout fitness videos. I wanted to show my vulnerability. Oh my goodness, you guys. This journey back is so hard, but I gotta keep on doing it. There's air conditioner inside at least. You see the air. I'm so fed up, let's just say that, with the pressures that are put on women and their bodies and their emotional health when it comes to postpartum. So I wanted to put these videos out to show and encourage women out there that you have your own journey and you can take as much time as you want to get where you feel like you need to be. Everybody has a different story and everybody has a different journey. And I just want people to understand or feel good about themselves that they don't have to have that snapback body, you know, two months after having a baby. And I feel like we live in a society that pushes that. So that's one of the main reasons why I want to show myself in a vulnerable place. And what I mean by vulnerable is showing what's real. There are moments when I cried, y'all. <laughs> I witnessed it. I cried. One of the main reasons why I started was not to lose weight. It was not to, you know, have that kind of snapback body um, two months after having my baby. It was about moving again and being a part of a routine that was about me. Because when you have a baby, um, you kind of get, um, what should I say, in your own little world. Cause it's just you, I'm being really real. It's you, your boobs and your baby. Also because I was experiencing some postpartum depression. I wasn't diagnosed with postpartum depression, but it just, I just wasn't feeling myself and feeling right. So I needed to just get out. You know, being like you said, a queen again. Yeah, you're, you're a queen, queen. Take, take it back, back. Mm -hmm. take it back. No longer feeling like your body's full, that empty space is gone. Yes. And you actually get to feel like, this yes. is my body, yeah. I gave what I'm supposed to give. And now I'm nursing. Yep. Now I'm done nursing. I'm done. Yeah, I feel. it feels great. It feels great. <laughs> I'm sad because, you know, my, my daughter does, didn't want to do it anymore, but I feel good because I get to focus on self-love again, you know what I mean, and self-care. I did not feel pressure to lose the weight quickly with this second time around. Now with my first baby, Cree, definitely. I felt pressure to lose the weight very quickly and I did because I was thinking about what everybody else was thinking of me. Um, I was feeling insecure about my body. And then not only that, I was working on a television show um, at the time and, you know, I just really felt pressure to get back to my pre-baby weight. But this time around with Cairo, I said to hell with that. I said, you know what, this is me, this is who I am and, you know, I'm gonna embrace it. And if you don't like it, then bye, see you later. I didn't worry about you know, work. I didn't worry about, oh my gosh, are people gonna like me? Are people gonna not hire me? Because I'm basically 50 pounds, you know, bigger than what I was before. And I said, no, because if they don't like me for who I am, and if they don't like my talents, if they don't like what I'm offering to the role, then the role's not for me. I just had that perspective that, you know, this is me, this is who I am, and I'm gonna embrace it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose weight and get back to, you know, how I was before when I want to, not when somebody else tells me to. In, in the Bible, it says, there's such a time as this. And it's, it's the, in the book of Esther. There's a time for crying. There's a time for healing. There's a time for frustration. There's a time for everything. So I just embraced that moment and stopped judging myself and just let it naturally happen. There's diet pills that a lot of people do. There's surgery that a lot of people do. 
but I don't want to do that. I don't want to go that route. I can be an example and an inspiration because everything that I do is to inspire women and to inspire people. Let me show not only myself, but show others, you know, how to do it the natural way, which is hard as hell. You have a lot of conversations that's going on about postpartum depression, but you don't have a lot of conversations going about how you feel in your body. And what I mean by that is you feel heavier. You feel like the weight is on you. Number one, because you're exhausted. You're not sleeping. You're getting on average probably about three and a half hours of sleep. Help me. Help me. <laughs> You're emotional because your hormones are going up and down. But not only that, I felt very weak. I'm shaking after a workout, which I think shows how I'm pushing myself. You know, there's lots of stories where they say not one pregnancy is the same, and you guys, that is so true. You know, I, I really didn't have any stretch marks after Cree. But let me tell y'all, and that picture is coming soon. <laughs> let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see that picture. Um, but again, I just love keeping it real. With, with Cairo, my pregnancy was rough. And of course I was a lot older, but I experienced everything under the moon. I thought it was a joke whenever I would sit down with my, with my um, doctor and she would say, okay, Tia, you have edema. Or Tia, you have gestational diabetes. Or wow, Tia, like you're getting infection after infection. And what I mean by that is I would have sinus infections because your body, when you're pregnant, you inflame. I hope I'm not making people feel like, oh, I'm never getting pregnant again. But I'm just saying, pregnancy is different for every woman. And I'm the one that keeps it real. A lot of people don't tell their stories about how hard, you know, it is having a baby. I mean, at the end of the day, you have this beautiful, amazing gift. That's a miracle. And it's crazy how all of that tends to go away and you forget. Why did I decide to use a trainer? Because I, I feel like I personally, needed someone to guide me to make sure that I was picking up the weights correctly, that I was focusing on my pelvic floor first. And I think that's very important after you have a baby because let me just tell you guys, your, everything goes to sh <laughs> There's no other word. You guys, you're like muscles wear, especially after you have a cesarean. Like my stomach was literally like no muscles. Like I had no muscles whatsoever. And I didn't want to pick up a weight because I had, I had heard that if you pick up a weight and you don't have a strong core, you can really injure yourself. So I didn't want to do that. So that's why I wanted to, you know, have a trainer. And that's one of the main reasons why I chose um, Marcella. I chose Marcella because she specializes in building that pelvic floor and making sure that that's strong. You build that before you get stronger. And so, and she's great. I love Marcella and the reason why I love her too is because she's not one of those trainers that wanted to just start out of the gate at 100%. She's like, she's a woman, she understands. She's like, girl, you just had a baby. We need to make sure that you're fine emotionally first and then we'll work on everything else. And, and she's really good at pairing emotion with your physical well-being. I need to put on a good song because I need help. What was the song? Huh? What was the song? I don't even know. It was just something on the get turned. Spotify. Because I needed to get turned. What a lot of people don't know is a C-section is very hard on your body, right? With a C-section, they literally cut eight layers deep into your stomach. And they take things out that's not just the baby. <laughs> and they put things back in, right? And the baby stays out with you. But my point is, is that that's a lot on your body. And what I mean by that is, you know, your muscles. Everything is weak and you have to regain that strength again because they cut through those muscles. So you have to, it's basically like rehab. You have to rehab your, your muscles and your body again. And if you don't have that mentality, you'll quit. 
and you'll give up. And I think that's just what was so great about Marcella is that she gave me time to, you know, have patience with my body and with myself. It wasn't about, you know, trying to lose this, this weight in like just four weeks. And I think that's the thing. I know that this show is called Team Maury's Quick Fix, but there are certain things that are not quick fixes. And, you know, I think we live in a society that wants you to have this quick fix and think that you could just be this, you know, person right after having a baby. And that's not real, that's not true. And I cried at times because I was like, whoa, man, how can this, how did this happen? You know, but I remember watching Beyonce and you know, I love Beyonce, <laughs> got my Beyonce. <laughs> and I remember watching one of her documentaries and you know, she was kind of saying the same thing. Like after having a baby, like it's hard. It's hard getting back into that routine. But when you forgive yourself and when you have a healthy perspective, you take every day at a day at a time, and that's exactly what I did. Every Monday, I do a weigh-in, and I've lost a total of eight pounds, so let's continue the grind. I wouldn't be where I am today with my workout goals if it weren't for my husband and my family. I did tell him, I said, you know what, Corey? I'm gonna need for you to watch Cairo in the mornings while I go work out. <laughs> and he did. Like, Corey didn't huff, he didn't puff, he didn't roll his eyes, he didn't, he just said, okay, baby, I'm gonna do it. Like, and, and, and that I am forever grateful that I have a husband who is completely supportive of my goals. You know, we have incredible caretakers that um, help take care of Cairo and Basically my point is, is it takes a village to be able to get the help that you need and don't be afraid to ask for help. I enjoy working out and I think it's important to find something that you enjoy doing, right? If you don't like working out at the gym, don't do it. If you like roller skating, do that. If you like hula hooping, do that. If you like spinning, do that. If you like yoga, do that. But my point is, is that you know, I enjoy working out, but I will tell you this, there are some things that I, oh my God, do not like doing. And I hate legs. Ha! Two more, two more. I do not like legs. I don't know what it is, but for some reason, I don't know if it's because my legs are long and I feel like I have to work harder. I'm always telling Marcella, I don't want to do this. I can't do this. I don't have to do it. Oh my God, please make it stop. I'm like, how many more? <laughs> I can't stand legs, but I will say this, but when you get it done right, your legs be looking nice. <laughs> <laughs> Keep on stepping back to change the leggings start looking good. Tops start getting tighter. I love arms. I love working out with arms. For some reason, I, I'm strong there. I mean, I can't do like, you know, pull-ups, but I can do a push-up. I can do a lot of push-ups. I can do that. There's one moment where I'm jumping over this bench, right? And I started just kind of like just hopping or galloping, you know, over this bench. And I have my hands on the bench and I'm kind of just like galloping. And then all of a sudden, it happened by accident that I jumped over the bench, like a full jump. And I was like, oh my gosh, I did it. And I think that's what I get excited about. When I start to see improvements in what I was doing before and how I couldn't do it. I feel so much stronger doing those. I remember I used to be like shaking. Oh, so good. It's crazy how I couldn't even stand up, like going from my knees to standing up without a wobble or without feeling strong. And now I just feel so strong. And then that's what, that's what matters to me. I gained 60 pounds during my pregnancy. I only have a few more pounds and then I will be my pre-baby weight. And you know what, here I am. Cairo is 18 months and that is okay. I did it my way, no gimmicks, no nothing, just eating very healthy, um, eating very clean, taking care of myself from the inside and out, drinking lots of water and being consistent with, with, my, with, with my workouts. So what did I learn about myself throughout this whole process? Well, first of all, I have to say that I've lost almost 60 pounds 
and I'm pretty damn proud of myself. Not only did I lose, I don't know, I'm about to cry. I worked really hard and not only did I lose weight, I breastfed my daughter for 13 months. I have a beautiful daughter. I worked my ass off. I worked on a television show called Family Reunion. I shot quick fix videos like, and I think I'm crying because I've learned that I am badass. I'm a super mom. I really am. And I believe that women can do it. anything they put their mind to. And just people can do anything that you put your mind to. Girl, I got Mr. Make sure you guys follow Team Roy's Quick Face. And I'll see you next week. Okay, Marcella, I'm done. <laughs>